Hello everyone, I am Tessellating Hexagons, and as I outlined yesterday, what the fuck, it's the end of April. Today is the 30th, so it's the 30th day of Vader, it's the last day of Vader for this year, and... Well, normally it would make sense to finish Vader on a, a Wednesday's vlog, a sort of a wrap-up, if you will, of the, the way the month has gone, but I kind of did that yesterday. But also, the last day of April has fallen on a Thursday, and Thursdays, as you know, are when I do my top fives or tens of arbitrary things. So I thought, what better way to celebrate the end of the month than to do my top five TAPDs, my top five OTPs, my top five episodes of this month's Vader. Yes, Europe Scale 8, I just got you. Twice. But, yeah. Now, typically on the YouTubes, when people do top fives or tens or whatevers, I think I've seen a top seven once, um, they, they have a couple of rules that they outline at, at the beginning of the list that they've used to govern the creation of said list. And I haven't done that so far, but this one I will make two stipulations. First of all, no tryout Tuesdays, no matter how much I like them. I don't want to influence the voting on that, by the way. Um, there is actually voting going on with that, so just check out yesterday's video for more information on the whole voting and that. And secondly, I'm not going to include this video because at the time of recording this video hasn't finished recording, so I can't really judge it fairly because it hasn't ended yet, so I don't know how it ends, so I can't judge the whole thing on the same grounds as I judge everything else. You feel me? Anyway, fifth on this list is day 11, which was only Skype Saturday number two. Now. I had to include a, an only Skype Saturday on this list somewhere. Granted, they were kind of... I wouldn't say they were draining to record. They were they were certainly fun to do. It's just that every Saturday, apart from maybe the fourth one, I was kind of feeling a little bit meh. I didn't really feel up to recording, and that's the day I need the most... I need to be high energy to deliver a, a comedic performance. But it, 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 it was still fun, and I still enjoyed it. And I, I picked episode two to be my favourite of that, because that was... Um, that was the one that had the most music in it. That was the musical episode, if you will. And I will spoil, just by chance, every item on this list is of a different episode type. You know, like the No Trout Tuesdays, but everything else is a of a single unit. There, are, there aren't multiple things that happened on the same day of the week, if I'm making it. You'll understand by the end of this video. Anyway, fourth place on the list is Day 17, which was Fair Trial Friday number 3, where I got to speak about Sonic Shuffle. Now, I, yeah, the things I said in that video do still apply. I, I just have fond memories of the game for whatever reason, because I played it when I was younger. And the fact that I got to make a case for it, why it should be remade, why it's, yes, it's bad, but those flaws can be fixed in a remake. You know, I got to sell that game to an audience, as it were. I enjoyed doing that. I enjoyed, you know, delving into my memories of the game and dredging up you know, things I could say in its defence, things I could say to justify it being remade, and so it was kind of a nice little nostalgia trip for me, coupled with justifying why I feel that nostalgia in the first place. So, a little bit self-obsessed perhaps, but still, it, I, I enjoyed making it, and yeah. In third place on the list is Day 27, which was the fourth part of my Eurovision Top 40 of this year, so my Eurovision Top 10. Now, those were the most exciting for me to record. Those are the ones I look forward to recording the most. Um, I'm not sure what it is. Perhaps it's just the fact that those are the ones that get far and away the most views because people aren't interested in beta, they just want to know my opinions on Eurovision, and then dislike the video because they're that immature because they can't handle the fact that someone has an opinion different from their own. But they were the most exciting for me because I got to not only present my own personal opinions on the songs and talk about them relative to each other, which I I had yet to do this year, because I was talking about them individually relative to the previous entry of that country, rather than what it's up against. So it, it was fun to explore that and deliver my opinions at the time of, of each song. And it, it was fun, it was exciting, and sometimes getting some comments on those videos saying, oh, I agree with you here, or, oh, well, there's this, and, you know, it's it's just nice to have an open discussion about this sort of thing, where people keep things polite rather than ranting and raving about, I don't know, the flag of the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia or something, because Lord knows there are plenty of those out there on YouTube, and, like, just, just, just don't. It's, it's not worth it. And the same goes with the politics of Russia and whatnot, like, it's not relevant. Anyway, uh, second place in this list is Day One, the very first Wednesday's vlog of Vader. Um, now, the main reason for that is that was the day after Eurovision's Greatest Hits. I was still buzzing from that. I had the footage that I took at the um, the Hammersmith Apollo of myself and Europe Scale 08. We were having a brilliant time. I got to share my memories of that with you lovely people. You know, 
with the random footage that we took, and I got to reminisce about the about the preceding evening and also my flight down and that was a crazy day in general and that that was just a really fun one to record also because it was the first one of Vader so I was just getting back into the swing of Wednesday's vlogging and it just getting back into Vader in general so that was most certainly a fun one but I think my favorite video from this month's Vader was actually day 23 uh, the the fourth top 5 or 10 thing which was my top 5 um TV shows with heavy continuity, because once again, I got to share my personal opinions and experiences with my favourite of something. I got to... It's, it, it combines the best of the merits of the items that are on this list, because it was a top, like the um, Eurovision top, where I got to share my views on something and say, okay, I like these ones, and then using that, I could use that as justification and recommendation to sell those shows to you, like I did with Sonic Shuffle, except the TV shows, like, you know, oh, I enjoyed Torchwood, Doctor Who, Orphan Black, Steven Universe, Gravity Falls, so you should maybe check them out as well if you're into what I'm into. Um, I got to share some recent memories, because at the time I'd just recently binge-watched loads of episodes of Steven Universe, so there's that. And there weren't any musical elements to that episode, and so to that end, I would like to give an honourable mention to yesterday's Wednesday's vlog, where I spontaneously burst into Taylor Swift. That came out wrong. But I enjoyed that as well. I mean, my singing was deliberately terrible, because it's funnier if I don't try. Like, I'll try if I'm sincerely covering a song, but if I'm just doing it as a light-hearted little intro to a video, I'm just going to deliberately do it shittily. But yes, my favourite video of this month's Vader was um, Day 23. So if you're just joining me now in the very last episode of the series, then go back and check them out. But I, I think Vader went better this year than it did last year, though, just as a general reflection. Because the, the first year of doing it was me sort of introducing myself to the to the whole concept of, oh, making a video every single day and using different varieties and whatnot. Like, the variety of programming that I did for, for this, this, this year's Vader, I think was, I think it was a better choice than what I did the first year because the first year, a lot of it was just me talking about different subjects, like, the, the Saturdays were just me saying, oh, well, here's a story that happened in my life, and Sunday was me just going off on a tangent about something, whereas this year, like, there was much more variety, there was much more different stuff that seemed a bit more relevant. Also, I had my microphone, that's kind of a plus. So, yeah, Vader's been fun, I have no intention to stop doing it, I mean, well, I intend to stop because... It's no longer April after today, but next April I will do it again, possibly with a different lineup of um, of things. Uh, at the moment, I will say Wednesday's vlog is pretty much a guaranteed thing. Uh, Skype only Skype uh, only Skype Saturday. That's probably going to come back, but no promises. Um, Fair trial Friday, maybe if I find more games to talk about, and everything else. Well, you'll just have to wait and see because even I don't know. So, on that note, I have been and will continue to be tessellating hexagons. I will see you in whichever of my videos you happen to choose to watch next, and I have nothing else to add, so I'll just see you when I see you, I suppose. Bye.